welcome to forever learning first apologies i have a very bad throat so i hope you are able to understand what i am saying so let's start some activities on forever learning and our focus will be on tinkering in your school you have got atal tinkering labs and in some of the schools you will have a basic stem lab so the first set of activities we will focus on will be things around tinkering and how you can make the most of this atal tinkering lab and stem labs in your school but even if you are not yet back in school you can use your mobile phone to do fun stuff for example this is a science journal app that uses sensors on your phone to do very interesting science experiments there is this is m block m block is a free app which is like scratch and it helps you learn coding and we will explore many other things for example these online simulations which can make studying a lot of fun so the atal tinkering lab that you have in your school now offers all kind of electronic things for example arduino boards raspberry pi all kinds of sensors that you can play with and make uh, robotic cars uh, internet of thing projects and a lot more in the lab you will also have uh, a 3d printer so it gives you a unique opportunity to learn about very new things uh, that are happening in the world of technology not only electronics the atal tinkering labs will also give you access to all this virtual reality and augmented reality these are very new things which are not only a lot of fun but have a lot of future scope you will also get in the atal tinkering labs quite high end laptop and these laptop will allow you to do things like game design and 3d the fundamentals of electronics is what you have been covering in your syllabus for example this is your class 6th book which talks about electricity and all the classes 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 12 have a chapter on electricity and knowing about simple circuits on what is series what is parallel and things like ohm's law will help you a lot and hence studying your textbooks well will also help you in making the most of the atal tinkering lab and the basic stem lab that is being set up in your schools now you can also tinker at home for example right now i am on this website called tinkercad.com and i am making a new circuit here so let's make a very simple circuit every circuit you know requires a source of power so i'm going to get this 1.5 volt cell and then i'm going to get a bulb and i'm going to get a switch and now i'm going to make the connections so from the terminal of the battery i'm going to take one wire to one of the terminals of the bulb then i'm going to take another wire from the positive terminal of the battery and connect it with the one terminal on the switch and then the other terminal from the bulb i'm going to connect back to the switch now we have a very simple circuit and here i can simulate a circuit so what i'm saying is that you can create basic circuits using simulating software like tinkercad and this will really help you make most of the atal tinkering labs that are in your school now what is fundamentally electronics so i am still on tinkercad and here is a simple circuit where there is a mini computer called microbit and in your atal tinkering lab you will have lots of microbits to play with plus there is a pir sensor passive infrared sensor and there is a small speaker and so what this circuit does is that if somebody comes in front of the sensor so then an alarm goes off it is basically an intruder detecting alarm intruder means you place it let's say in your shop at night and if anyone enters the shop at night the alarm will go off so to see how this works let me click simulation 
So here they are trying to show the field of the sensor and in the field of this sensor if there is any movement somebody comes in or walks then immediately the alarm goes off. The basic thing to understand about electronics is that electricity is a flow of electrons and how we control the flow of electrons is what electronics is all about. So for example in this circuit I was physically controlling the circuit. I had to manually switch it on and off. But what happens in electronics is that one circuit controls another circuit. You don't have to manually do things. So once you uh, put this alarm somewhere, you don't have to do anything. As soon as somebody walks in front of as soon as somebody walks in front of the sensor, the alarm will go off. So a simple definition of electronics is that one circuit controls another circuit. And in this, what we do is basically we get rid of the switch to control the flow of electrons. And instead of a switch, we use all kinds of sensors. There are many, many types of sensors right here on Tinkercad and in your Atal Tinkering Lab. So you have a photoresistor, you have a flex sensor, you have a force sensor, you have an infrared sensor, you have an ultrasonic sensor you have the PIR sensor which you have just used. So using Tinkercad, you can sit at home and learn. And what you will learn will be very useful for you when you will use the Atal Tinkering Lab. Another great resource that we will look at in detail is PHET Interactive Simulations. They have got many, many, many simulations here. I am just showing you a simple simulation related with circuits. So let's quickly make one simple circuit. So it's a simple circuit. You've got a source of energy supply here, a battery. You've got wires and you have a bulb connected here. And we will explore this in more depth. You can create more complex circuits, but you can also, whatever you are learning in your textbook, you can do practical experiments here to make sure that you conceptually understand what happens. For example, if I want to make this bulb glow brighter, what should I do? I can change the voltage or I can change the resistance. And what, what exactly is voltage? You can use all these meters here to understand the difference between current and voltage and by doing so you will deepen your conceptual understanding. So in this course on tinkering at home we will be looking at uh, FET simulations, we will be looking at Tinkercad uh, kind of platforms where you can create uh, simulated circuits and we, may, we will also look at mBlock which is a coding software. When you make electronics like these you also have to learn how to code. Without learning coding, you will not be able to make the most of this sophisticated electronic equipment that you now have at school. So to begin with, let's start with a quiz to make sure that you understand some basic concepts that, that are there in your textbook. So to take this quiz, and I'll share the link on WhatsApp, if you go to timelesslifeskills.org website, and if you click on courses, and you click on this course Tinker at Home, then you can access the quizzes. And as we go along, I will keep adding new lessons right here. So if I go to the first quiz, basic, and these two quizzes are based on the concepts that you have learned in class six and seven. So the first question is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy is called a, and the answer is cell. And you can check your answer and then you click here to the next question and if you don't know the answers to these questions then I suggest that you go back and read your textbook and all your textbooks are available online. So here I am on class 6 textbook and like I said most of these questions are based on the chapter on electricity in your class 6 and class 7 textbooks. So refresh your knowledge of your textbook, make sure you understand fundamental concepts and take these two quizzes and then 
we will move on and do more hands on things like science journal app tinkercad and fet simulations i hope you will have a lot of fun while tinkering at home and preparing yourself better to make the most of the atal tinkering lab in your school